Hey guys, Charmaine. Today, I have something to tell you guys that you probably don't even know what I'm talking about. You don't even know that these things exist, but they exist for a very large group of players in the game. And those players are the more passionate, the more veteran, the more dedicated the summoners were. And they were affected in the previous update with the security enhancement. So you saw this news and you'd be like, huh? You can actually use third-party tool in Summoner's War? Yes, you can actually use many different third-party tools in Summoner's War to make the game experience better, allow you to play the game better, and do many other things. Not cheating, just to understand the game and play the game better. So, with the last update from Contours, with the new game security enhancement element, they cause a lot of problem for a lot of different third-party tools in Summoner's War. And many of these tools were made by people who were just passionate about the game and they made these tools for free. But with the previous update, these tools will be rendered useless or partly useless. I'm not exactly sure about the exact detail of the IT stuff behind this. So the people who use the tool or make the tool can let me know or let us know in the comment section down below. So what are these tools you might ask? This is the Summoners or Guild tool. In this tool, you can find the counter to many different defenses in the game. So it's very good for you to learn how to deal with very popular Guild War defenses and what are the good offenses that you can use. So you click on one of the trending defense that you have problem with, like Kamun Bastet Odin. There'll be many different counter by many different player. So you don't have to watch a YouTube video to find out. You can just look at the defense and look at the counter, see which one you can build. And there's even note for you to use the defense or the offense properly. So you don't have to guess how you can use the offense, which is absolutely amazing. And you can search for many other defenses on this tool. It is very, very amazing. And the guy who made the tool even made an artifact monster finder, which is one of the hardest thing to do for a casual player because artifact is very complicated. So to have an artifact monster fighter to simplify the process of finding which monster is going to fit for the artifact is really, really useful. Very amazing. And then we have the Summoners War Arena website for the RTA tryhard. So this are for the Siege player. And this will be for the RTA player. So here you can find statistic of monster in RTA in many different seasons. So as you can see in season 24, you see a lot of Masha, but in season 26, you will see a lot of Juno. And you can see how the unit is performing and what is the win rate, what are the unit you can use with the monster. There's so many useful information in this website for you to learn about RTA. I use this a fair bit as well to see what are the popular monster and how I can use the monster to further counter or what monster I can use with this monster that have the best win rate. So this is also another amazing website. You might even see some crazy player here and see what are they using. So very interesting website, guys. A very interesting website. And then we also have the Summoners or Optimizer where you will optimize your personal rune to see which rune build have the best efficiency to see how you can manage all different rune and artifact on your unit. The website can easily tell you what build is going to be the most optimal, what build is going to give you the fastest speed because a lot of players, they have way too many runes. They don't have time to manage all these things because Summoner's War is literally an unpaid full-time job to some people. When you take the game seriously, the game can become very taxing to play. And those players are usually the most tryhard that spend the most money in the game, the most time in the game. So they use these tools to make their life a little bit easier. And then we also have Swarm Farm. How do I read this thing properly? Where you can see a lot of different information about the game, the drop rate, the runes, the stat with the boss to see how much resistant accuracy do you actually need? What kind of damage do you actually do? And what are the drop rate of every single things in the dungeon to be very transparent? which is something that Contours don't really do that well. So maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Not too sure about that guy, but I really like the website as well. I use these sometimes to see what are the drop rate of these things and what are the stat of the bosses. Very useful tool here. But with the last security update, many functions of this tool will not be usable anymore. And that is a tragedy for many, many player. And I think it stemmed from this problem right here. So in Korea server, there are some guild who are exploiting the way people extract data from the game 
and they can see all the runes on the defense of the opponent guild and siege and being able to see all the rune where is the faster rune do you have will or not is an extreme advantage for siege player because they can plan their offense and get all the wins much easier so with this come to have to take some action because it is in the Korea server, which means they have to be even more serious about the problem. So they took action, improved their security enhancement, and then it just spoiled the fun for everyone else who's just trying to play the game with these third-party tools and not having to dedicate their entire life, time, and saving into Summoner's War, which is quite a big problem with many of the veteran community right now. And that's why we are now at this stage where come to us saying that Hey, we know that we fucked up all your tools and we may fix that in the future. How? We're not too sure. When? We're not too sure as well. But they admitted that they have screwed up a lot of third-party tool for this game. I think having third-party tool in any competitive game is pretty normal. Every other competitive game I play, there's some sort of statistic website. There's some sort of tool that allows you to play the game a little bit better. Not by cheating, but by allowing you to understand the game further. And that is very important to many, many endgame players. To you, the casual player, this might not mean anything. It's like, huh? They're using tool? Wait, that's unfair. You can all use these tools for free. And these tools are recommended by all the hardcore players. I personally don't use them like all the time because I'm kind of casual. <laughs> kind of casual myself. But you can definitely use these tools to make your summoners or journey better, understand the game more, and just progress faster. So what do you guys think about the whole situation? Personally, I really hope the tool become usable again because I use them from time to time and they are very helpful. I like using some of them from time to time. So hopefully the computers will do something about this because a lot of veteran players are pissed and they are the ones spending a lot of money in the game. So if they are pissed, not a good day for come to us. But then you might also be thinking, hmm, Sean, I don't use these two. I might never use these two. I just play this game for fun for like 30 minutes a day. I don't really care. Maybe I'll watch you for another 30 minutes because I love watching you lose an RTA because that's kind of funny to me. So why should I care? I don't know, man. I guess you don't really care, but it's fine too because if you don't use these two, then this whole thing didn't make any sense to you. But to the people who make these two for all the people to use for free, Really big thank you to you guys. Big shout out to every single third party tool creator because you guys have made the game so much easier to so many people for free because you didn't have to do this, but you did this and you love when people use your tool. I see people commenting on Reddit all the time, exchanging ideas on how to make the tool better and all that good stuff. And you took time out of your day unpaid to make these tools for the players and hey, I really appreciate you guys. Thank you so much for making the community better because via these tools, many amazing things has happened in the game, like how to make the best team, how to make the best defense, how to make RTA tier list, all that good stuff backed by data, backed by number, and it is only possible thanks to these tools. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope come to us. We'll do something about it. Maybe the tool will be usable again in full features, and that will be amazing to see. And that's it for the video today, guys. Thanks for watching. And I'm, I'm going to get my LD scroll and summon a three-star bear man or something. Have a good day. Bye-bye.